Hello guys and welcome to Sherlock Sundays! I had to double check that I wasn't muted because this episode will now feature 90% less audio problems. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> guys, I have been such a big derp with recording Sherlock. But anyway, so we're going to replay the intro. What I did is I went to cases and that way you guys don't get the funny echo or anything like this that. This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. So mm. you guys can get it good. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Chopping wood. Sounds intolerant. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson. Bringing the warm cloth that I requested. Why do you need a warm There's cloth? I guess you, maybe Holmes. to warm me up your hands. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. And yes, it is. Holmes, I really think we ought to leave. I called it, but it's Mycroft. Everything that Sherlock hates in a smarter Mycroft. package. Yeah. Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. <laughs> We're about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the Crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. Need? Help? Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. Well. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Whatever. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men, a band of idealistic terrorists. Sherlock. Do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not the country. Although if your waistline expands very much further... Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Dr. Watson, the train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. What's going? You're in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock... Enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do, please, at least write to me on your return. We'll think about it. We're gonna have some fun on the rails. Anyway, so, yes, guys, that's where we left off last time. Hope you enjoyed that intro. Uh, do you have everything? My archive. I can always consult with it, if needed. Okay. Do we have everything? You didn't make your bed, Sherlock. How dare you. And again, I didn't make my bed either. <laughs> and I've been up all day. I have no excuse. Uh, you don't really need to make up tr or anything like that. I'm just making sure that there's nothing we missed. Alright. So, let's talk to Holmes. Uh, Watson, I mean. Watson, I said. Holmes, please call a cab while I pack my suitcase. We should be late for the train. You want me to call a cab? Okay. I call a cab here? Let's examine. Okay. Watson, I'll hold a cab for us. We leave in five minutes for the station. Okay. And one week later. So I guess we went, now we're back. Right on the rail. Some evidence will require additional investigation. These will be marked with archives. Oh. Do, 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 what a gloomy night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. Since the stationmaster told us that the train is about to arrive, 
We should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention! The train is arriving at the station. Please stand well away from the platform edge. Yep. I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. <laughs> well, I mean, you never know when a crime but could occur. Holmes, the headlight. It's faded away. Something is wrong. I can't hear any sound from the <gasps> incoming train. Does that mean the train's Excuse disappeared? Me, Can you explain what has happened? I, I don't know. <gasps> it, it's as if the train vanished into thin air. <gasps> Holmes, say something. Quick, fetch a lantern and let us take a look. Yay! The mystery. It's too dark. Only fog and rails, nothing else. Uh, there is no use in stumbling around here at night. We will come back tomorrow. Hmm. Very early. Probably when the fog hasn't really even faded yet. Ooh, how exciting! Oh, do we get to play as Watson? Or Watson's just sitting in the car with us? I guess he's- Hey! Crime and Punishment! <laughs> it's a name. Of the game, in case you couldn't tell. Anyway, sorry, guys, sorry. Well, here we are again at Evesham Station. We have a full day ahead. Let us begin our investigation. Okay. Let's see. Oh, nope. Wrong way. Ah, ah. Okay, we go this way. We go this way, then. Uh, what does our Sherlock sentence tell us? Nothing. So, shall we go up here? Where's that music coming from? It's <gasps> bits of paper. Actually, I kind of looked at me. First person. Okay, so there's a farm nearby. Looks like there's a switcher up ahead. We're gonna go take a look. That's how this it should have been. This is the place been. where we saw the train vanish last night. Ah. A discarded item, possibly thrown from the train. There are no tracks or footprints on the ground. Not even from us. Railway sleepers, nothing unusual. The rails have not been touched. There's nothing unusual here. That's just it, though. There's nothing unusual here. There are no signs to indicate that the train ran off the track, nor are there any other traces. There is nothing whatsoever. There are no clues. But then, a negative result is also a result. It means someone's covering oh, up something. I see what you're getting at. No clues and you're <laughs> smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. This mystery appears very promising. Oh, good. Well, I am excited, guys. This investigation won't be simple. We shall require a map of the region. All right, well, let's go get Perhaps a map. the station master could lend us one. Yep, that's my thought exactly. Good thinking, Watson. Let's go get a map of the local district. Is there anything else? The wire cables. It's still a bit foggy, but it's not too bad. Oh, hey, the music kicking in. Oh, it's such a pretty music. Love it. Well, apparently, there's a farmhouse nearby. Do, do, do. Wait, what's that? Apparently nothing of importance. Alright, station master. Good morning. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember you. I'm Station Master Everett. You were here last night. So, you were Mr. Holmes, the great detective. Oh, news of us travels far. Will you be far. investigating what happened? I shall indeed. It is extraordinary that an entire train could disappear like that. And to think of all the poor people inside it, the passengers, the driver. Hmm. Let's see. Let's take a look at him first. Oh. Yeah, he's an older man. Very much older. Oh. Well, he's happily married, apparently. He's looks like he's been doing stuff lately. Oh. Honorary badge. Uh, can you give us information about Could the train? Could you please give us any details about the train? Well, there was nothing so very special about it. At least not that I can recall. My memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> hmm. However, if you need it, you can have the train composition report. It's inside my office. Oh, okay. We'll probably need that. Uh, do you have a railway map? I would be glad to have a detailed map of the local railway district. But of course, please, take the one that's pinned inside the waiting hall. You are very See generous. See you later, my good man. You are very kind and very generous. Alright, the waiting office, and then we'll go to the, uh, this thing. Let's see if there's anything suspicious. Nope, just the waiting office. I guess not everything can be suspicious. Oh, look at the look at the old rotary. Oh, look at the stove and the grandfather clock. And where's the map? There it is. Walked right past it. Let's examine it. This map will be useful. There we go. We have Evanshire. That's to London. Okay. Great. So, what is that? It's so weird, though. How can an entire train just disappear off the tracks? I, you know, honestly, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna hold my opinion. Open it. There's a lot of stuff here. An old locomotive bell. Oh, oh, oh. I saw something. It's a locomotive bell. This part is probably from a locomotive. This place serves as a storage area for the station. Yeah, I mean, obviously. This part is probably from a locomotive. Thanks, sure. Uh, <laughs> being sarcastic, but you know, old tea kettle and everything. Okay, well, let's go ahead and now. Where is his office? That's a crane, a very rudimentary crane. You know, what I am inclined to believe is. That what we saw last night wasn't actually the train. Um, it was, in fact, something pretending to be a train. Sherlock, you notice this? Nothing, nothing unusual about it? Okay, well, you do live in the time period. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> well, that scared me. <laughs> ah. Oh. Hey, what's this? Do we look like we've been used recently? No? Okay, what's this? Nothing, I guess. Oh. There was a building here not so long ago. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? It was disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. Can we examine it? Is there anything here? Anything that stands out? Like this? No, this doesn't stand out. It's just a patch of dirt, Lily. We'll just make it sure. Oh, what's this? 
Hold on, wait. No, it's like donkey shoes. Wheel tracks. Heavy. Traces. Let's take a closer look. First of all, let's take a measurement. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. Uh, Nothing interesting here. For Pete's sake, you want me to take a measurement? Oh. The distance between the trees. There we go. Is Sorry, guys. Six feet, seven inches. Okay. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. Mm -hmm. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. Truck that was way down up into this point. Looks like there's a donkey or something that went past. Can we get back here? Nope. Okay. This road should lead to the town of Evesham. Evesham, okay. Well then we shall go to Evesham and see if there is anyone who has seen a very heavy truck coming in last night. So it would have to be between tonight and, and whatever. Whatever time it is now. Just want to make sure that I got all the clues before I leave the area. What's this? Nothing, nothing unusual about the cable switcher? Okay, Lauren, well let's go. And let's see what else we can't find. Uh, we didn't get the uh, thing yet from his office. We need to go and do that. I do believe his office is before the waiting area. This luggage that has been left. Anything... Anything that stands out to you, Mr. Sherlock? Nope, okay. Let's go check the station master's office then. There's tickets. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was one dollar. There's a... Oh, that's right, because we came in via carriage. Ah, there we go. Yes. Mr. Robinson is located at- A new telegram. I think we should meet this, Mr. Robinson. I think so too. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, Mr. Robinson was in the second class car. It had a first class car, a postal wagon, uh, Mr. Ro oh, sorry, Mr. Robinson was in the third car, and then second class car. Here is the train set. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that all that's here? There's no other signs. No signs that the tea has been fresh. Oh, but there is two cups. Then again, he probably just got lazy with this, his cups. Anything out here? Anything at all? Just gotta make sure, guys. We wanna make sure we get all those clues. We need to be able to talk. Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? Well, it's not, really. Can I talk to you? I'd like to go to Evansham. Can I not? Apparently I cannot. What about all these people waiting here? Can I talk to them? They could be important. They could hold some sort of clues. I, I want to go... <sighs> I don't know where I'm going. I want to go into the next town over to see if I can't find out where... Oh, she said it was about to yawn. Uh, and I did yawn. Thank you, Watson. Wanted to see where the train went, but apparently that's my only. Maybe I could talk to the conductor again. He'll have some clues. 
glad we brought our archive set. And I'm sure Mr. Holmes is glad too. Let's see, is there any new information? It's According to the wagon. train composition report, there was a special wagon. What does that entail? That's a highly secure car, ordered by a private party. Uh, it is generally to carry something of value. I see. Now, those wagons have iron walls, you know, without any windows. Uh, and they're fitted with a complex key lock. Ah. That is important information. Do you know what was inside this particular wagon? Certainly not. No, that's private. And it's not my responsibility to allot the wagons to whoever. Ah. Oh. Okay. Uh, what about the passengers on the train? Was there anything exceptional about any of the passengers aboard the train? What do you mean? Like officials? Oh, I wouldn't know. Oh, oh, but now that you mention it, yes, there was something. Oh? There was a message from Bridlington Station saying that the train had been delayed because of an issue with the passengers. But what kind of problem that they didn't say? Hmm. That is interesting. That is interesting, indeed. So it sounds like there's something going on. Uh, can we go to Brindleton Station? You mentioned a problem at Bridlington Station. I should like to visit this station. Could you mark it yes. on the local map? Of course. It's a suburban railway station. You might take a cab there. Okay. What about the disassembled warehouse? It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station, and that it was disassembled. Why is that? Yes. It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. Burgled? What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. I see. Why would anyone want to? I see. See you later. That's important. My good man. That is actually very important. All right, let's go. Uh, we want to go to Brindleton. We'll catch a cab there and see what we can find. We will also need to retrieve information about the passengers as itself. Let's see. Uh, what's this? Oh, yes, I know. I know. I know. Gosh. Gotta judge me by what I do. Man, I might be sympathetic, but that's only because, you know, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Do you think I did the right thing in that case? Interesting layout of the road. Can I talk to him? Apparently not. He's just a random NPC. Let's see, let's see. Oh, hey, there might be someone back here. Can I get through this gate? Is there anything that I am missing? Nope. Alright, you get to live today, Mr. NPC. Let's see if there's any clues. Okay, just making sure. I guess we'll have to go inside. You're a young thing. Any clues in this room? Not that we can see. Let's stand out. Looks like it's a liable. This is an absolute passage. scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No respect for the customer. People will have anything to complain about, I guess. See. Oh, he's got work clothes on. Oh, he's got rough skin. Oh, but he's married. What happened? Please calm down, sir. What is your concern? Concern. What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Okay. Last night, I were on the train, as usual, with my colleague, heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector, who started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train, and he was extremely huh. rude about it. 
Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes. I heard that it disappeared. Okay. But I don't care because Starting we were stopped get... before then anyway. Our tickets were valid and no doubt about it. And then, to top it all, the ticket inspector pushed everyone else out too, except for a bunch of rich. Well, because their type don't need a ticket. No, I guess not. Hmm. All right, so it sounds like... Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes. They were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. Huh. Goodbye, sir. I see. We talk to you. Hey, it's Mr. Robinson. Hey, Mr. Robinson. Do, 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 Good do, day do, to you, do, sir. Do, do, Good day. To whom am I speaking? My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is... Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. Jeez. We are not from Jeez. the railway company. We are... Well, in that case, Mr. Shamrock Flomes, please excuse me. But I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat at the moment. <sighs> I saw that he has an Australian hat. He's also got a mismatch beard. He's overly weight. Like, overweight to the extreme. Oh, crocodile boots. Yeah. And yep. You must be Mr. Robinson, is that correct? Yes. I am leading the investigation of the disappearing train. It would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, well, all right. I have nothing to hide. What is was in the special I wagon? I presume it was you who placed the order for the special wagon. Yes. It was to transport my valuable prototype safely to London. My prototype is a revolutionary device. Is it now? It is capable of producing electricity. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention. But I was very optimistic about the director's board who were traveling on the train last night. Okay, uh, well, company's direction. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcazas Company. I had made an appointment huh? with them. Now they are lost, along with the train and my prototype. Okay. What do you know about the, the Spanish company? Type. It's a large it. South American company. Yeah. They showed a great deal of interest in my prototype, and they seemed wealthy enough to do business with. Hmm. Hmm. This revolutionary machine of yours, was it very valuable? For God's sake, sir. It is priceless. It could change the world we live in. And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a humanitarian, you see. Oh, are you? I do not know if I will ever be able to get over this disaster. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damn train. Hmm. Were you on that train? Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you traveling alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received the telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the Bromsby. waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So yes, of course, mm. I agreed to see him. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. I thought perhaps he might have been delayed. So I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train left the station without me. Absolutely unacceptable. Aww. The timetable is strict. <laughs> we cannot wait any longer. <laughs> the regulations require the train to be <laughs> on time. Me. You are an idiot. You will pay for it. I will sue you. But it wasn't his fault. The ticket inspector forced all the passengers from the train, except for the directors of the Barcazas Chilean Company. Hmm. 
starting to think that these Chileans are the ones that are at fault. Anyway, guys, so that's where we're going to leave it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this Sherlock Sunday. I know I am certainly enjoying the Sherlock episodes, and I hope you guys do too. If you do, remember to press that like button, and if you really did enjoy it, then make sure to subscribe. Also, guys, leave a comment down below. What do you think so far? Anyway, thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care!